How's it going? I'm Odd Dustin and welcome into Mars Horizon. I got this game uh, gifted to me by a very good friend, Lord High Fixer, who's a longtime member of the Mosh Pit in the streaming universe. And uh, he recently reached 2,000 hours watching me stream games. <laughs> 2,000 hours. It's 83.3 days of watching me play games poorly. And uh, he got to pick my whole streaming schedule. And one of the games was this game, Mars Horizon. And uh, Mars Horizon, not with it. There's no S there. I don't know why I wanted to add one, but um, I want to play a whole nother run. I have one that I'm doing for my stream where I'm playing as Russia, but I want to try a new one as the European uh, Space Agency here, the ESA. Uh, mainly because this game has a lot of history that it gives you as you progress through the Space Agency's um, lifetime, I guess you would call it, or they grow up into the space world and i don't really know a whole lot about the european space agency um i've watched a lot of things on nasa I've watched nasa but uh esa not so much one thing i did want to do though is i do like these bonuses that you get from esa but i want to change one so you get a 50 percent bonus rewards if you do a joint mission i like that uh, i haven't done any joint missions yet but when we do, I would, wouldn't mind getting 50%. Science income uh, bonus from friendly and allied diplomatic relationships. So I get a 50% uh, increase for being diplomatic. And then this is a double chance of being offered a joint mission. I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to uh, bring in some construction stuff. So um, where is the economic vehicle build cost? There we go. So that way, if I'm uh, building a vehicle any of the rockets that I build, it's going to cost me 20% less. And we're going to build a lot of rockets and that's going to save us, uh, hopefully, <laughs> a decent amount of money. Uh, let's confirm that. Also, I would like to change the headquarters and call this something else. We're going to call it uh, Europe's Mosh Port. Or maybe I should just call it the Mosh Port. <laughs> the Mosh Port. There we go. And uh, ESA is fine. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't need to change any of that. That's fine. And we're friendly with America. We're neutral uh, with everyone else. And we'll see how that goes. We don't need to do the tutorial because I ran the tutorial already when I played as Russia. We will not auto resolve. We're going to request missions. Uh, I like that. We're going to run as an explorer not as a pioneer because we would just want to chill this game is super chill i don't need to run it on pioneer we're going to run it on explorer and uh we're gonna see how it goes welcome director you're entrusted with guiding our agency through this dawning space age and far beyond make use of diplomatic expertise to promote international cooperation and scientific innovation our place uh, and place our agency at the forefront of humanity's voyage into space. Only by working together can we realize feats long thought impossible. With our leadership, we will uncover the mysteries of solar system and perhaps one day make humans a multi-planetary species. All right. Is that Bonnie or Bond? Bonnie Chance, I think. Director. All right. What kind of missions we got? First thing we got is our test launch. Let's plan it. Select a vehicle, build our sounding rocket. There we go. We got to research that and confirm. Now, there we go. Let's go here. Test launch. Um, let's see vehicles. We already got the sounding rocket. Um, hmm. Let me see. No mission selected. Test launch. We need that, which we have. I think we have everything. Right? Yeah. Oh, we need a small launch pad. That's what we need to do. We already have this. Good to go. Let's build a small launch pad or research a small launch pad. There we go. Cool. Let's see what we have in the Space Capedia. ESA, European Space Agency is a multinational group consisting primarily of European countries whose goal are peaceful exploration and scientific study of space. I do like that it adds a lot of these 
um, different things into the game as you progress through your playthrough that you can uh, read about space and uh, the history of our space travel adventures. Historically, animals were sent into space in order for scientists to properly assess the dangers spaceflight posed to organic life ahead of embarking on human space flights. The first life sent into space were fruit flies launched by the U.S. with the aim of exploring the effects of radiation exposure at high altitudes. Since then, scientists have used a wide range of species in non-human spaceflight studies, including monkeys, dogs, tortoises, mice, and insects. The first Earth inhabitants to circle the moon were two tortoises and some fruit fly eggs sent from Russia in 1968. Wow. I did not know that. Huh. Trippy. Alrighty. Uh, I believe that is everything. We got the launch pad researching. We got uh, our first mission going. Let's go. Next month. Small launch pad research complete. We should be able to build it. Let's see. Where do we want to build this launch pad? We want to get the most benefit. Um... We build it here. We're leaving out that space, so that's not good. We can't build it. Can't build it so close to the building here. So let's just put it there. Good to go. Mission research. Let's see. We're probably gonna want to do the satellite as this next one. Vehicles. Not sure what we want to do there. Test launch, view the plan. So it's going to be a, another month before we can do that. Let's do research of, um, you know what, let's do a, the rocket booster. Next month. There we go. Launch pad complete. Booster, dawn of spaceflight. Unlock the moon. Sweet. There's our test launch. Our engineers have reported the launch vehicle construction complete without any notable issues. Not the most reliable. We don't have any training available yet, but we can select a day. We don't have any training, so there's no reason to wait. Let's just do it uh, the next month. Um, research. Uh, let's see, let's research the Topaz upper stage. That'll be good. Topaz research complete. Sweet. Here we go. Ready for launch. Optimal date. No training set. We only have a 30%. Yikes. Okay, well, let's launch this mission. Uh, tower mission control to space rocket base. Fuel load in process. Akhenaten, how do you say that? Ach, Akhenaten, <laughs> Mis, mispronouncing uh, all the words. We're live to go with fuel launch. We only have 30% launch reliability. Wait, change that to 32%. Adequate conditions at 2%. Fuel launch complete. I think we're go for ignition. Ignition start. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. away. We have liftoff. Repeat, we have liftoff. Nice. All right. Well, let's see how we did. Uh, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> we did great. All right. Level one rocket. Proficiency up on our sounding rocket. That's awesome. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we got some uh, science there and some cooperation points. Sweet. All right, research. You know what? Let's take a mission first so we can figure out what we need to. Um, probably we don't have any requests yet, so let's do the satellite research. We're gonna need to research this. And that's pretty much all we can do. Spacepedia. 
Diamond, early launch vehicle designed to pull a small satellite into low Earth orbit. 20 meters tall, it's very small. Comparatively, <laughs> comparatively. All right, we got a funding review in nine months. Satellite research complete, awesome. Um, actually, hold on, let's go out here. We need the mission, this, we need to research this here. Let's research that payload. I believe that we might be able to select. No, we can't select that until we research this. Okay. We still don't have any requests. There we go. Now, can we do it? We can. All right, let's plan this mission. Okay, so this is the payload here. Currently the reliability is at 70, which is pretty good. Give it a little increased power. It's going to cost us, but we do have the money. Um, improved comms is also good. Gives us a starting power of four. Costs a little bit less. Brings this down to 60. Um, the negative event is... Yeah, I think... Hmm. I think we go with the uh, higher proficiency on this. There we go. Let's build that payload. Okay, they're currently building that. Let's do some research. What do we want to research? Animals or buildings? I think we need to build um, spacecraft assembly facility. We don't really have a whole lot of cash here. Uh, but we can research this. It takes three months to research. That gives us training payload. But this one here, if we do the test, actually, if we do these two, we can get to mission control, which gives us another mission slot. So we probably should be doing that. Research uh, mission training science. Um, okay, let's let's uh, let's get some training going. We definitely could use some training. <laughs> uh, next. And one more time. Nice. All right, our payload is complete for the artificial satellite. Looks pretty good. Let's design our vehicle. I don't know if we can do it with what we've got currently. Let's see. Upper stage is 23% launch reliability, not the greatest. Yeah, these don't all increase that much. Let's see what it is with the booster on it. 58%. Payload's great, but the launch is not. <laughs> um, that's a little better. Jupiter rocket here actually looks like like it would be better. 63%. We just got to research it. Select Jupiter. Let's see if there's a better... That brings it up to 70 if we do that one, but that's two. 73 for that one. But it's not, it's not powerful enough. So right now we got we got to research two different uh, pieces if we do that to get to a place where we can launch this, but it's going to have a higher uh, reliability. I say we we well yeah two hundred four thousand two each. Um, let's do it. Well, let's do it. We're going to research these two. Okay, and we have a new request now, which we can't do because we already have a mission going. We have base stuff that we can build. Spacecraft assembly facility. This gives us negative two vehicle building costs. I should have built this first. Should have built this first. Um, plus one percent payload reliability. Only one percent off. All right, um, 
Alright, let's put this here. There we go. Active missions, we have this. We're researching. We can't do anything yet because we need to research. So let's move forward. Research complete. And then we need to research this one. There we go. And next. Sweet. Active missions. Okay. Oh, it didn't finish the research. Dang. That was, <laughs> the Jupiter uh, rocket was... Okay. Well, rip. Spacecraft assembly facility complete. Nice. Jupiter research complete. All right. Uh, let's hold off on the researching until we figure out what we want to do next. Let's build this vehicle for almost $200,000. Sweet. Gonna take a little bit to build. <laughs> um, all right. Let's research more buildings here. Um, this one here so that we can get to mission control because that will really help us to have two missions that we can do. And we have a funding review in two months. They're going to be like, why did you do that first? Ugh. <laughs> the ESRO 2B is a design for small satellite carrying an X-ray, an array of X-ray and solar particle measuring instruments, the readings of which are recorded on an onboard tape recorder and then transmitted down to Earth. <laughs> they have a little 8-track in there. Power is provided by an array of solar panels wrapped around its body and spin stabilization is used to keep them aligned while in orbit. <laughs> Pretty cool. They launched this in 1968. Nice. Alright, uh, next month. NASA have proposed an exchange of technology research. They're offering to share their rocket test pad research if your agency shares the uh, spacecraft uh, assembly facility. Oh yeah. Unlocked research rocket test pad. Nice. Rocket test pad will allow further, more rigorous vehicle engine tests. Awesome. All right. Um, so we have rocket test pad. Where can we do the test pad? Minus 3% on vehicle cost. Launch reliability. Can I even, can I build that there? That's going to cost me too much because of all the debris I'd have to clear out. Um, this actually gives me a benefit from being there. Launch reliability and vehicle build time is up. Um, if I put it out here. Vehicle build cost, but you gotta you gotta get rid of a lot of stuff and it's expensive. 875k to clear those two, but that's the best place to put it because you get the most benefit. I just can't afford it. Um, can't afford that either. Uh, this one I could probably afford. Um, dang. Yeah, let's do this. Let's clear out this stuff here and here and we'll build uh, when we get some more cash uh, view the plan there we go okay we don't need to do anything there it's five months more requests can't do those because we haven't finished the thing um all right next month Budget review. Your agency's performance over the last 12 months has been reviewed and your budget has been adjusted accordingly. Nice. Okay, we got some cash. Let's research this mission control. We definitely want that. Uh, base, do we have the money to put down this? We do. All right, there we go. Pop it in. Hopefully that's good. We can move this later. Don't worry about it. Um, researching mission control. That's going to take a little bit. We have funding review in 12 months. This is that. Okay. You can see NASA's launch and stuff. Soviet Union's launch and stuff. We don't have anything we can do until we get mission control. 
And it doesn't look like test pad complete. Built that. Okay, good. Still researching, so one more month. Artificial satellite vehicle complete. There we go. Tamarara. Oh, I've been. Ah, uh, you should have been renaming these. Dang it. I forgot about that. Okay. We gotta rename those when that comes up. Training. Um, base payload's already high, so let's move it to launch reliability, re launch reliability training. There we go. Launch date. Right now it's pretty, pretty great. I say we just launch next month. Everything looks awesome. Let's do it. And then we'll also have mission control that we can build. I don't know that we're going to have enough money to do that. But uh, we'll see. Mission control research complete. There we go. Artificial satellite ready to go. Ready for launch. And we got uh, China and everyone else hot on our heels. But uh, everything looks pretty good. What do we say we launch this mission? TSA Mission Control here. We have our second mission of the agency up. It's raining outside. We're going to have to push. We're going to scrub this launch. Tomorrow, it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. Not going to do it. Bad conditions have made this a suboptimal launch. Let's reschedule this for next month. We're moving this to July, folks. Sorry about that. We'll see you next month. All right, confirm that. Launch approved. Let's build mission control. If we can. <laughs> 250 G's. We got the cash. Um, let's see. There we go. And we can build it there. That we can't do. Or that. Not getting any benefits there or there. We can't have it that close. I think this is the best one right here. That payload build cost down, uh, having that there. And there's nothing we need to move out of the way. Perfect, mission control in. It take us a little bit to build. Research. Okay, so we got that going. Let's start researching the missions. We're going to want an animal in space. And I believe that's it. Oh, we have another uh, mission we can take now too, can't we? Uh, oh, no mission slot. Oh, it's because it's not built yet. As soon as we have mission control built, then we'll be able to do another mission. Okay, okay. Artificial satellite. Take two! <laughs> Ra -ra 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 -ra. All right, hopefully we got better weather. ESA mission control here for take two of Tarmarara. Weather's looking much prettier than it did last month. July 1958 is a great day to launch a rocket into space. Currently at 78% launch reliability, adequate conditions plus 0%. Not sure why it even shows it. But we're going to take it. We have a pretty good chance this rocket's going to go off without a hitch. Fuel load is complete. We're ready for liftoff. Five, four, three, two, one, and go for ignition. And we have liftoff. Repeat, we have liftoff. Rocket away. All right, how'd it go? What? Wow. 18% <laughs> chance to do that, and it happened to us. My god. Well, we only have one command on our first try, but that's not that bad. I mean, we'll live with it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Jeez. Can't believe that. 
All right, let's get some research going. <clears throat> So we need to end with two and two, like Chuck Woolery would say. Let's get one of those going first. Come on. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. We're going to resist that. There's one that we need. Um, I say we do this. And then do a recharge. That way we can get our one piece. Perfect. Oh yeah, there we go. Wish we had that on the first round, but that's fine. I'll take that. Sweet. Okay, next thing we need is... We're going to need one of those. And one recharge. And that should get us where we need to be. That should be a successful mission. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, almost to the green. Take that. There we go. Can't ask for a better mission. Look at, they're cheering me on. Yes. You did it. You're an amazing space cadet. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we did that, we did that. Let's do this one here. Plan this mission. Now wait, what is this one here? High altitude photography. So we're gonna need uh, to do some high altitude photography with this guy. <clears throat> Build the sounding rocket. Let's name this. Uh, let's see, what are they gonna do with those? Send nudes. There we go. And that's pretty much all we can do because it's just a sounding rocket. So pretty much all we can do, build that vehicle. Mission control is going to be complete in three. We got animal and space researching. Let's move on to the next month. Fears over artificial satellite. Following your agency's launch of the first artificial satellite, several foreign newspapers have claimed that the satellite represents a global security threat. NASA have requested that your agency release the full specs. Let's do it. Here's your specs. NASA has gained some science, but we gained some rep. Research done for animals in space. Pigs in space. We're going to need this payload. Let's research that. And then we only have one mission still because we haven't finished this, but send nudes completes uh, next month. Eden research complete. And so is send nudes. Our engineers have reported the launch vehicle construction complete. Sweet. Let's prep that launch. First thing we want to do is some training. This is the only training we have. <laughs> so might as well. Doesn't look very good. Uh, and we're definitely not going to be launching in uh, these. Oh man, no. We're going to have to wait till January. Sorry about that. This mission is going to be a bit, but we do have mission control coming up so that we can prep another launch, so that's good. Let's confirm this setup. That's all we can really do. Um, when you're playing as the Soviet Union, and I believe as also as China, you can launch in those crappy conditions, but uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> Let's see what our next uh, mission is. We got breaking the wind monitoring. We're not doing that yet. We want to do an animal in space. We need this mission part. We need all three of these mission parts, looks like. Okay, well, let's research this. And mission control is complete. And let's go. Nice. Okay, so now we should be able to take this mission. Now that we have two slots. Let's build the payload. Look at that. Payload reliability is already up to 75%. Uh, we don't need increased power. It would be nice to have increased comms, though. But I'm going to stick with standard. Leave that. It's a lot of money. We're going to also... Um, let's build the payload first. Let's not worry about that. 
Um, research. We're going to want to look at this. We need to build this upper stage. Researching. And I think we're good to go. Radiation belt discovered. Your data from your recent artificial satellite mission has confirmed the belts of trapped radiation around Earth, shielding the planet from the sun's cosmic rays. Sweet. Um, Jupiter's going. This is already there. We have some new requests for an orbital radio station. Not doing that. Jupiter research complete. Animal and space payload complete. Sweet. All right. Let's take a look at the vehicle design on this guy. Upper stage. We can use this as the upper stage. That is powerful enough and heavy enough. What about these though? Reliability goes up a little bit. No, actually it goes down. This is, uh, oh, this one is uh, actually the better one, but this is, this is good. We'll select that one. Booster wise, uh, neither one of the ones <laughs> there will work. Ooh, dang, that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess we're, we're doing that. Uh, what do we want to call this? Uh, about pigs in space. Pigs in space. I'll leap speak. Pigs in space. Can I do that? All right, hold on. Pigs in space. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Whatever. Confirm. Build the vehicle. Sweet. Need to research. Now that we have the vehicles that we need, uh, I'm going to hold off on building more. Although I would like to build some of these. These are these Delta rockets are pretty damn good. Uh, I think that we need to build more research so we can get science training going. So let's build a research lab. After that, we're going to probably go uh, over here to lunar orbits uh, and space missions with people. But let's get the research going first. Funding review in one month. It's already been 12 months. Wow. And um, we're going to do this uh, launch next month. Here we go. All right. Our performance is we're getting increased budget. So they must like what we're doing. Research lab. Research complete. Only one month to do that research. Awesome. Optimal date per month. Max bonus. We did pretty good. We got four months bonus here. The launch is up to 59%. Still not great, but uh, could be worse. We're going to launch a sounding rocket equipped with a 35 millimeter camera to capture some nudes. ESA Mission Control. We are active and ready to zoom over Hollywood and take some pictures of actors sun tanning naked in their backyards. S3ND Nudes, January 1959. We've loaded the propellant and we're ready to go. Positive event. Right now we have adequate conditions with a plus 4% chance, 63% launch reliability. We're good for go. Propellant's loaded. Ignition. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. And we have liftoff. Repeat, we have liftoff. S3ND News is leaving Earth's atmosphere, has hit max Q. It is now in space. Oh my god, 92%? Some wow, what zowie? 50 plus 50% mission reward on this one. My god. I got, man, I got real lucky on that one. Man. Sweet. Send news taking some awesome pictures of uh, celebrities for us. 
All right, let's figure out if we can build this research lab and where we could build it. Right there gives us pretty good payload cost benefits, but it's going to cost us a ton of money. Um, vehicle build and payload build costs are improved there. Let me see if I can rotate this here. There we go. Oh, can't be that close though. Um, yeah, we can't be that close, I guess. Um, okay. How about if we go like, no. Uh, we can afford to put it here, though. We just have the, have an odd spot there where it's not, can't put it there at all. And that one is a little better, but it's very expensive because of the debris that we need to clear. So let's put it here. It's costing us a fortune, but we need that research. Currently have only one mission going, I believe. Where's the missions? Yeah, we have one mission slot available. Let's do a request. Experimental fuel or an orbital radio station. This one's going to give us 600 science if we can get it to go. Let's do this one first so we can get that extra science. Low risk. Um, increased cost. We can't afford that. We can only afford a standard. Let's do it. Build that payload. It's a lot of money, man. That has a lot of money. Okay. Uh, our next bit of research is going to be lunar orbit. Next month. Race to space. The prospect of launching the first human into space is dominating the newspapers. Most have labeled it an impossible endeavor, whilst the less skeptical outlets claim rival agencies are bound to get there first. Several have contacted your agency for a statement. Um, you know what? We're not going to be a part of that race. How about that? <laughs> um, you know, I don't see uh, the European group being so, like, we're going to kind of be there first and you guys suck it. We're more about uh, cooperation, you know? So... Uh, Race decline. Your agency has replied that it is inevitable that humans reach space, but have declined to comment on who will achieve the milestone first. Okay. Is that, uh, is that Japan up there? Orbiting? <laughs> Japan completed our official satellite. Yeah. I didn't, I guess I didn't realize that that was happening there. Interesting. Um, let's do payload pioneer. Here. I think we want to do this eventually, but I think this is part of the milestone. Um, God, I don't know. Let's just do them in order. Fine. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Animals in space. We're still waiting four months, another month. So we're going to have a launch next month for the solar wind monitoring. Or no, we're going to be able to build a rocket next month is what it is. Okay. The payload will be complete. Yeah, there we go. Pretty good. Reliability there. Pretty good. Alright. Um, wait, what is this one again? Solar wind monitoring. I don't know why I can't remember those things. Upper stage vehicle. That one has a zero... <laughs> Look at those launch reliability, it's terrible. Oh my god. Oh man. With the fuel the way it is, it, this is not looking very good for us. Um, I think I need to research this uh, just so I can get a tiny bit of launch reliability out of this uh, experimental fuel. Let's see what we got for boosters. That gives us quite a bit there, but uh, yikes. 47, 52, 40. This one's going to be a single month research. Both these are going to need to be researched, so it's going to take us two months just to research the parts. 
Um, this is going to be even longer, though. Um, let's try it with that. <laughs> let's try it with that. Let's, uh, what do we want to call this? Uh, oh, man. Um, uh, beans. Beans, the musical fruit. The more wind, solar wind. <laughs> no, um, no, about uh, solar wind breaker. There we go. It's a solar wind breaker. Uh, all right, let's confirm that. We need to research these vehicle parts, though. First one is this Delta change research. Yes. And active missions is just telling us that we need to do that. Okay. Research lab is almost complete. Sweet. Now we've got some research that we can do. Uh, oh man, it's really uh, taking us a while to research this rocket, isn't it? Um, okay. Engineer available. An experienced propulsion systems engineer has become available. Hiring them for your agency would boost the reliability of launches. Ooh, for the animals and space mission. Hell yeah, let's hire that guy. Increased by 10% to 88%. <laughs> Is that overboard? Am I going overboard with that? It seems like maybe I'm, maybe that's overboard. Um, man, the research, just that one vehicle part is taking forever to research. Just for the simple mission of this uh, experimental fuel. Delta research complete. Oh man. Pigs in space is ready to go. <laughs> um, watch reliability is really good though. Training. Um, let's see, extra science. Launch is already good. Payload is actually really good too, so let's do the science. Hell yeah. Uh, launch date. Let's do August. 10% bonus. 15% bonus if we go to September. Mm. Oh man. Uh, I don't know. Let's just do August. Let's see. The first available. It's looking good. Okay, research. We need to research the next rocket for the mission here. For this one. Where's it at? Solar wind breaking. We need to research this. And then the mission is just telling us we need to do some research, so that's fine. Next. Uh, okay, it didn't. <laughs> still didn't do it. We're going to do animals in space. Oh man. Pigs in space. This is this looks great. This is gonna be awesome. Even if it's raining. ESA mission control, we are about to launch Miss Piggy into the known atmosphere. Pigs in space ready to launch. August 1959, clear as it can be. A little bit of cloud cover, but no big deal. Propellant launch is complete. Adequate conditions at plus 4%. We have a positive launch performance event. And we're uh, go for ignition. Five, four, three, two, one, ignite. And we have liftoff confirmed. We have liftoff. Pigs in space away. There we go. In the blue, which is better than the yellow. That would have been really a, a bummer. 7% <laughs> roll and we get a 7. That would have been awful. First time using the Jupiter upper stage. That uh, is level 1. Very efficient. Animals in space. 
All right. Let's see what we got to do. Achieve Earth Orbit. Here we go. We need to collect only a small amount of stuff. What's the bonus on this? Two and five, huh? Okay. Okay. Um... Let's do, um, let's do two of those as the first command. Nice. Ooh, damn. 95%. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with that? Got a bonus. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll get the next one. 6%. <laughs> All right, well, we're resisting that one, that's for sure. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to recharge power. Then we're going to spin this a little bit. Try to get that. Hmm. Hmm. We're resisting that. Nice. Okay, we're going to need to recharge twice. Need more power. There we go. And then we just need two. Um, it's our last turn. Dang it. Um, hmm. If we risk it, though, man, um, and we're just going to have to risk it and see if we can get two successful. So I don't. OK, good, 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 good. Yes. One more of those. One more of those. Come on. Come on. Come on, Miss Piggy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 50% bonus reward. Got real lucky on that one. That's a success. Ta -da! You put a pig in space. <laughs> have they ever sent pigs in space? I don't think they have. They've sent uh, a lot of different things in space, but I don't think pigs has been one of them. Awesome. ESA completed first animal in space flight. And that's going to be it for this uh, Mars Horizon video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this game. I really am digging this game. It's super chill. Um, there's some change, a lot of choice that you can make and different things that happen uh, so far. Very, very, very enjoyable game. Hopefully you have as well. If you like this video, a like would be appreciated. And uh, subscribe for more videos if you haven't subscribed already. I'll see you in the next one.